My name is Dan Mahalik. I am Assistant Professor of Product and Industrial Design here at Parsons, and I'm also the director of our BFA Product Design Program. So what we would like to do with this event tonight is look at a decade of design and change in Brooklyn, but not only the past decade, but also the next decade. So we'll take a historical survey of what has emerged in the past decade in terms of Brooklyn and its uh, support for independent, very small scale, almost micro level designers um, being able to operate and design in a number of different areas that maybe they couldn't have before and different scales. But then we'll take a critical look and really try to pick out, you know, has the design situation, the design scene in Brooklyn, does it really represent the cultural diversity of the borough itself? And who has really benefited? But what I'd like to do is, is maybe um, between Chad and I, we can ask a couple of pointed questions to get a conversation going. I think that what is in, intrinsic and important for designers to do and always be thinking about is getting out of our bubbles. Um, and I don't like to talk about bubbles that much because I, I think New York is an amazing bubble and I love it. Um, but I think designers can actually get into these bubbles where you start to go into rooms and everyone looks the same and everyone is the same, the same people coming at all the parties and you're kind of like, I, I just stopped going. I just stopped, we just stopped going to those types of events where it felt like it was stale and we needed to find something new. And I think it's the same with neighborhoods and communities and the museums and these organizations is to get out and find where are people creating something new. I think it's through the programming and sort of spending our time really asking people and asking ourselves who should be on these panels, who should be moderating, who should be in the audience, um, because that's how we get people to believe that design is for everyone and these spaces are for everyone. I think really, um, you know, working with uh, certainly local schools in a lot of these neighborhoods and kind of expanding um, the base of uh, potential designers up and coming, um, you know, educating the public on what kind of opportunities, Dan and I were talking about that like before uh, the session tonight. Um, I think really just building out that infrastructure in a wider capacity will, will go a long way. But there is always the issue of representation and there is always the issue of visibility. And it's one of the reasons we started AfroChic uh, originally in its uh, blog format was to address that idea because we didn't think that there were enough people of color in design and uh, wanted to do something to call out those people who were there. And what we started to find over the years was that there are actually a, a significant number of people of color involved in all facets of design uh, and that the issue was less presence and more about visibility and representation.